Hi! In this video I would like to show you the simple CNC plasma system that we built. Let's get to it! As a basis for our plasma system we used a CNC 3018 and we then replaced the spindle with a plasma module. We also attached a Raspberry Pi touchscreen computer which is uh, used for the controls and of course a high voltage power supply in order to make the plasma work. Here's an example using the plasma on a wooden workpiece. In order to make it really easy to use, we then designed a housing that took up the CNC and the plasma, all the power supplies, the Raspberry Pi computer, the compressor and all other accessories. Let's take a look. Here we see the design of the device and step by step the construction of the box and the housing. We see that most of it is made out of plywood and plexiglass, which have been cut on the table saw and on the laser cutter. The idea with this is that the box will hold all the electrical appliances and the CNC will fit right on top and will sit on it stably to make the usage most easy. The side panels can be easily removed as they are held in place only by magnets so that uh, this provides an easy access to all the internals in case something needs to be fixed or maintained. Most of the inner parts are readily prepared modules so that it makes it easy to put it up without much to, uh, to think about for this kind of construction. So let's take a look at the operation. All set and G-code loaded. Arm plasma. Start the file. After the successful dry run, here we see the treatment of wooden boxes. You can notice that the plasma sounds sputtering. Uh, this is uh, the case because of the small internal pump and uh, will not be the case if you use external uh, compressed air as a supply. But this plasma in the way that it's running here is still well suited to treat the surfaces of, for example, these wooden parts. It's also suited to treat metal parts. The screw um, in this case is positioned on top of a, of a wooden um, support just because of the uh, small size of the piece and it's not really relevant if it's on a rounded metal support or on an insulating support. You can see you can treat the surface quite well. And to a certain degree this even works for such high substrates. Although, of course, the treatment depth or the, the length on the sides is relatively limited for uh, the device that we have. But in this case, it works to clean oil off the, uh, the screw. So, I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration and I'd be happy to know your opinions, your suggestions. So, please leave your comments below and 
until the next time.